Okay, welcome to another episode of the Joe Dunright Show. I promised you in a previous episode that I would um, talk about personal protective gear, PPE, personal protective equipment. And when you're out here on the farm and you're doing stuff, or even in your own yard, even if you got a quarter acre yard and you're doing work, um, do yourself a favor and protect yourself. And um, one of the things I'll tell you is whether you're working a weed whacker um, or uh, maybe a, a brush cutter, and we're going to talk about the brush cutter that I use um, made by Grass Gator, and that thing is a machine. The problem with it is, even with a guard on it, if you hit your foot with that thing, you're going to be on your way to the doctor office, and you're going to get some stitches. And uh, not so much with a weed whacker. You know, you might, if you smack your leg with that, it'll it'll cut you good. But, I mean, the bottom line is, get yourself a pair of um, work boots with steel toes in them. Now, no excuses. <laughs> I actually bought these for 30 bucks. They were on clearance. Um, I needed a pair. I was working with a uh, rototiller and my old boots, which I can actually show you. Let me see if I can get them here. Uh, my old boots were just, they're just shot. And uh, these are really nice Bass Pro boots. I love them. I ended up buying a new pair, but at the time I just needed something quick. And I love these boots. Steel toe, 30 bucks. The only thing I didn't like about them is they don't have a loop on the back when you put them on, which is kind of a convenience thing. But if you're weed whacking, get, get yourself a good pair of boots. The second thing is ear protection. Now, you can't see now because I don't have my hearing aids in, but you don't want to lose your hearing. Believe me, it's a bad deal. Get yourself a good set of he hear, you know, uh, ear muffs. I prefer these rather than the ones that go in the ear. I think they do a better job. If you want, do both. Put the plugs in your ears and use these. And definitely um, eye protection. Don't just worry, use glasses. They're not going to get you from the side. This machine here will mess your eyes up really fast. You kick up a rock, piece of debris, you'll knock your eye out and you don't want to lose an eye over a weed whacker. Get yourself some full protective goggles that cover your glasses if you wear glasses, but fully cover your eyes so that they fully shield and cover and protect you. So ear protection, eye protection, feet protection. I wear gloves when I work. Um, just protect yourself. And when you do a chainsaw, same thing. Ear protection, eye protection, and some kind of a leg protection. Now, I'm a big steel fan, but I'll tell you, I love the Husqvarna pants. These chaps are um, certified, proven, and they're less money than the steel. And I know steel you'll be ha not happy with me, but get yourself a pair of these. Um, they come in what, sizes from 38 to 46. And the 38 to 46 sizing is not the waist size. It's the length size. So make sure you get the right length. You don't want them to go down past your boots. You don't want to be tripping over them. And they're the, the belt part, because they go around, they're like chaps. They're like cowboy chaps. And I got a, some kind of bug in my head. Maybe something trying to get me. But they come around the back. They snap around the back. And these give you full lower leg support. And what's so special about these is they've got some high-tech material. I don't know if it's Kevlar, but it's a fiber. And these are a one-time deal. If you catch your leg with the saw, and you can go on and look at the videos, there's videos, it will stop that blade, blade or that chainsaw chain. It jams the, the uh, sprocket, and it'll probably save you a trip to the hospital. Now, it might cut you. You might get a cut. It might hurt you a little bit, but you're not going to go in with some serious cuts. Um, and I will tell you, when you're working with a chainsaw, you got to have a couple of rules. It's the same rules that I use with ladders, table saws, any kind of saw. Don't talk to people. Don't get distracted. Let the people go do their other thing. I have a, a rule. I was putting up Christmas lights one year, and my son came out and started asking me questions, and I was up on an extension ladder. And I just said, don't talk to me, I'm on a ladder. So same thing, when you're working with power equipment, whether it's a table saw, a radial arm saw, 
a compound miter box saw, a chainsaw, any kind of equipment. Just don't get, don't lose your attention. Stay focused on what you're doing, especially with a chainsaw. Always make sure you know where that bar is relative to your your legs. Make sure your legs are not in the cutting plane, and make sure you're holding on with both hands and you're wearing gloves and you got your eye protection your ear protection and your chaps on and just focus on what you're doing you don't need to run to the hospital these pants i think were less than 80 bucks i got them online um i think on amazon but do yourself a favor and protect yourself and we'll talk about some projects we got a tree down in the back we're going to go work on that we got a power pole that has some volunteer trees growing around it we're going to work but just be safe. Be smart. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Come back and see me soon. Thanks for joining the Joe Dunright Show. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.